action. Hi, I'm Shelly Ungerank from Heartland Realty in DeSoto, Missouri. Um, today I'm going to talk in my episode um, a little bit about why you would need a buyer's agent. These are kind of frequently asked questions um, by people that are, you know, thinking about buying real estate and these are just kind of common questions they have to get started. So, you know, many times I'll be asked to go to a house and show someone a house and of course, one of the first things um, agents do, all agents, and we have to, and just so, you know, maybe one explanation right off the bat is the reason that agents always ask for um, that pre-approval and that buyer's agent, you know, right out of the gate is number one, we need the pre-approval so that we know that you're ready to go and that you can write a contract if you decide that you um, like the house. And sellers also want to know that you're pre-approved. Um, and But the buyer's agency, one of the things that, that we ask you to sign that for um, kind of quickly is because we're, we really need that before we can talk to you about financing and a lot of legal matters pertaining to buying a house. We need to be locked in as your buyer's agent, which keeps um, is an agreement basically saying that you're going to use that agent to look for houses um, for a certain period of time, however the, the buyer's agent is made out. Um, and that agent is going to shop four houses for you and kind of work with you through the process. So, um, and before we talk about any, you know, financing or appraisals or anything to do with the contract in a legal way, we need to have that buyer's agency signed, um, which keeps, um, it, which means that an agent is now liable not to share any of your personal information to anyone else. Um, it kind of marries us together for lack of a better term. But so you ask yourself, you know, you know, why do I even need a buyer's agent? You know, a lot of people want to know that. Um, and the first thing I think that is important for you to know that in the state of Missouri, um, you know, commissions are generally always paid by the seller. There's going to be a few exceptions, which, which we can talk about. But, you know, when you find a, a house like either on the MLS or on Zillow and you go look at it, um, and you have a buyer's agent, the commission is always going to come from the seller. The buyer's agent in some cases, not at Heartland, but in some cases may have a, a, also an, a, a fee, but generally speaking, the bulk of the payment's going to come from the seller. So you ask yourself, why do I need a buyer's agent though? Well, number one, it's really not going to cost you anything, or if it is, it's going to be just a small fee for, you know, from some of the other agencies. But secondly, a lot of things that a buyer's agent can do for your number one we're going to know the market you know if you're shopping with an agent that is a local agent you know we've been in a lot of the houses that are on on the market locally and you know maybe even before whenever they were sold to a different buyer maybe you know four or five years ago and we can kind of say i remember being in here four or five years ago so you know we bring to the table a lot of knowledge about the area um you know that you're shopping in and you know a lot of times can do comps pretty quickly off the top of our Head, that yes this is priced right no it's not because we're in the market every day and as many times as you look on Zillow and you think you know the market from looking on Zillow very quickly when you start looking at houses you'll find out that pictures are very deceiving and none of the houses that you may have seen on Zillow are gonna compare once you start looking at them face to face so an agent who has seen them in par person can kind of have a lot of helpful knowledge and knowledge of what to look for because we've been in houses um, um, all day long for however many years we've been in real estate so we might be able to point out things to you that you're not really even you know thinking about um, in terms of the quality of the home and things that you should look at you know how old is the air conditioner um, you know how old is the stove you might want to know what's going to stay in the house just because you're looking at a house you know and all the appliances there does that mean that those appliances are all going to stay those are all questions that a buyer's agent can answer for you we can definitely help you determine you know how to make an offer do you need your closing cost included in your offer you know these are questions that your agent's going to pull you through explain these things you know what's the difference between getting an appraisal and getting an inspection should i get a home inspection and by the way, the answer to that question is always yes. But your agent is really going to answer all of these questions for you and break this down for you and walk you through this. Um, they're going to write the contract in a way that hopefully is beneficial to you. And, in, 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 you know, as far as, you know, are you going to ask for a home warranty? You know, how should we, you know, what type of a loan should I get? Even though we may have to refer you to obviously inspectors or appraisers, you know, loan officers to, to finish these, these 
these items we at least have contacts and we can tell you how these things are going to work and what kind of deadlines are going to have to be met you know a common question might be what happens if the house doesn't appraise out what happens if i have an inspection you know and i want the seller to fix something how does that work you know can they take it off the price of the house these are all questions that your agent is going to sit down and talk about all these different scenarios with you and walk you through so that you're not going in blind you know um a lot of times i've talked to people that have done for sale by owners you know and when they see that we have you know maybe a nine page contract and and, and other documents they're shocked and they're a little overwhelmed and it's like but if you're but your agent's going to break all that down for you and, and so it won't be so overwhelming and make sure that you're you know making the best purchase possible that you understand your rights as a buyer and that you know you're getting the best protection um that you can to make a good purchase and a good home for you and your family so a, a buyer's agent brings a lot to the table and i definitely um don't suggest that anyone try to buy a house on the market without a buyer's agent there's really not a lot of advantage advantage to you um, again because you're not paying those fees the seller is um, so you know when you when you don't have a buyer's agent you know a seller's already got in most cases unless it's a for sale by owner a listing agent that they've agreed to pay their listing agent X amount of dollars for the um, you know to sell their house and that listing agent is going to share that commission with the buyer's agent if you don't have a buyer's agent that's just that much more money that goes in the listing agent's pocket because she didn't have anybody to share the money with so I mean I mean, there's really no advantage to you not to have a buyer's agent and I strongly recommend that you do. Thank you.